Now I've always found that working on old stuff, old motorcycles, old houses, old uh, old everything, there's now all that's really left is to fine tune the idle on. Uh, today we have a pretty special day coming up. I hope I'm going to be able to carve out the time to get the coils onto the RD. Ray has already sent them up here. They're sitting down in the shop. I'm trying to plan out a day because my grandson is coming over for the day, but we may have some time either in the morning or the afternoon to get the coils, the coils installed. And then I'll see if in the next day or two I can carve out some time for a test ride. Because once this is done, if the coils don't solve our ignition problem, then I want to order that electronic ignition. So either way, I like to know the answer by the end of the day. So a couple of days ago, I got the bike all prepped up, got all the parts taken off that I need to, to, to do this, I help efficiently and quickly. And having a tank off the bike will just make it just a little bit easier once I can get started on this. But of course, what's the first thing when you're a farmer? Plant the plants, <laughs> feed the birds, feed the fish, feed the wife. Got to, there's, there's just certain things farmers have to do that uh, you just can't jump on a bike and go riding or get out in the shop and start working. So how hungry are you guys today? Oh, not that hungry at all. Just order us a small pepperoni pie. And we are coming up on the time once a year, sometimes more than once a year, I take a little, make a short video of Karen's garden and how it all played out for that year. And we share it with our friends and obviously it's free. And if you're not interested in flowers, we understand. And we have way over a thousand miles on our project bike from last winter. We still have a few little details left to do. But this RD project, I would like to figure out if I'm going to need to buy that electronic ignition. And maybe the birds will help me decide this before the day is over. And needless to say, look at it. We got peppers growing. We got tomatoes already off the vine. What a great summer this has been. So every morning, what do we do every morning, my love? We pick flowers. We pick fresh flowers. Who would want to have breakfast without fresh flowers on the table? What an elitist we are. <laughs> and this time of year, this is the drink of choice, iced coffee. And the loving bride makes a big, big glass of iced coffee so she can all be ambitious and go get those coils installed. Usually when we have our coffee out on our porch in the morning, that delicious iced coffee, we get birds coming to the fountain, entertaining us. We just had a baby bird fly away too. Now, whose birds do you like better, my birds or Alan Milliard's birds? Alan, did you steal my birds? Look who's here! Wow! Who came to see Grandpa today? Wow! Look at this! Where are you riding off to, Miles? We got it from an Oshkosh. Oshkosh and Carter's are in the same mall. Boy, you're going to be ready to ride a motorcycle pretty soon? I don't know. Right now? I got the key. <laughs> Man, you're like a professional. Can you do wheelies with that bike yet? Do some wheelies. Come on, you can do wheelies. I know you can. Ah! There's a new racetrack around the pond. The pond racetrack. <laughs> it actually is a beautiful day for a ride, but I do want to get those coils done, even though we have company today. As soon as they leave, we're going to get those coils installed. Come on, Andy, you want those treats, I know it. Uh-oh, look at Andy. Come on, get those treats. He's so handsome. Oh, Andy. Hi, Andy. Come on, Andy wants his treats. These are healthy treats, Andy. You can have as many as you want. Oh, you're so handsome, Andy. He is. He is. Now, Miles, say goodbye. Okay, Grandpa, go work on the motorcycles. <laughs> so thank you, first of all, Ray, for sending this. And these are coils from 350s. I assume they're going to be relatively interchangeable. And I always appreciate when my friends uh, can locate parts like this. Uh, Chris sent me an email that a couple days from now she has already shipped the parts for the FCR that I'm waiting for for my next project. So we'll, we don't want to let the cat out of the bag yet, but this is, this is going to be nice if these are a direct 
interchangeable part and it looks like they are we're gonna we're certainly gonna find out that's for sure okay looks like the same looks like the right parts And because these are 350 coils, I'm looking, and they are slightly different. I'm pretty sure they'll work, but they are just slightly different. I don't know if I'm going to have to make a bracket for that, or even if it's going to be possible to test it. But my feeling was that this is the bad one, because this is the side that was giving me intermittent reading on the timing light. So I think I'm going to just to try to change one out and see if, uh, if it makes any difference. So the first good tip, and I do remember this from working on this in the past, to move the throttle cable out of the way. With the throttle cable out of the way, you have a lot more room to get the, the wrench or whatever you're going to use to loosen the bolts. So we got to loosen two bolts in each coil. Now it's very tricky to get the wrench in there because the bolts are on an angle. And the throttle cable wants to occupy the same space. So what I guess the easiest thing here is if I have to, I'll zip tie. I got it loose now. Maybe get this off by hand now. Oh yeah. But those bolts, <laughs> like everything in the world of uh, old motorcycles, if you have little tiny fingers or you're an octopus or something, they come right out. In this case, you get a little bit of my big fat fingers in there and get the last couple of threads off. Challenging at best. And believe me, getting that last bolt out. <laughs> Unless you have those little tiny fingers, boy, is it difficult to get that in there. And I want to clean this up just a little bit. And see if we have any wire connectors we can use here. I don't want to disturb the original coils just in case. So one of the things that's very obvious, now to get this coil off when there's only one in place is going to be a lot easier. So I may as well take them both off at the same time because I can get the wrench in from that side now and pull that. The, the throttle cable out of the way, which is always in the way when you do this. Now luckily from years of doing this kind of stuff, I have just the right connectors on this and I want to put all new connectors and all new, uh, well, if I can get the shrink, everything just exactly like it was brand new, if possible here, and I hope I have enough connectors. So the only thing left to do here is to shrink the heat shrink tubing. We got new connectors on this side. And what I want to do is then do a continuity check to make sure I didn't in some way disturb this that I have. And believe me, I'm not in my comfort zone when I'm doing electrical work. But in fact, to be honest, I hate electrical work. I wish this thing had a fuel leak instead. I'd rather deal with that. But these intermittent electronic problems, wow. And if you have a new bike, I hope you have a computer. Old bikes. Old men, young hearts, and electrical problems. <laughs> Alright, so that's one side. Now I gotta do the continuity test on this. That'll be the next thing. Well, let's make sure. I don't want to outsmart myself here. That's that's always the issue. Is when you go to outsmart yourself. That's not fun. Okay. And the orange to the orange. If only I had more, if, I, if only I was Vince. Now this one doesn't have a continuity. Ah, stuff makes me crazy. There we go. Okay, so that one's good. That's ready to reinstall. Now we got to repeat the same thing for the other side. Pull the coil off, put the nut, put the, uh, the ends on, and then it'll be easier putting one back. But that second one to get those last two bolts in, Believe me, you better have some little fingers and a lot of patience. I'm guessing the people that design this stuff have the tiniest little fingers on the planet. Because every time I go to do something, my hands are too big. <laughs> my God. Having done this now, I realize... They probably want you to take the engine out of the bike before you do it. Now there's a ground wire under this side. I don't want to forget to put that ground wire back in there. Okay, the ground wire on that coil. And then that comes right off. Okay, and that's the ground wire. 
and we can pull this off and we have both coils off and now to get this fitting and get that ground let's see we can get that ground wire in there first do not forget the ground wire oh. so we don't want to leave the ground wire out to get that down in there now getting this one on is the easy one of the two this one will be easy getting the second one on I'm gonna have need those little micro fingers now I've always found that working on old stuff old motorcycles old houses old uh, old everything there's always one bolt or one something that you can't you just can't get where it has to be you can't get your finger in there you can't get whatever the tool doesn't fit and it is so frustrating and on this Whoever engineered this had a little tiny finger. My God, they had nice little fingers. They, they should always have. They should have somebody that's a uh, got, has fat fingers on the Yamaha, the uh, the design team. But you know, somebody's got to take these things apart someday. And when it comes to that, oh yeah, 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 yeah. Anyway, you can get this bolt, but I know getting the other one in is going to be a nightmare. I have been down this road before. There is always one bolt. And probably there's a special Yamaha tool, a Yama tool to do this, or or they have simple thing. Take it to your Yamaha dealer. Yeah. Oh yeah, he died 40 43 years ago. And they weren't that good 43 years ago, so. Boy, I like to work on my own stuff. You know this one is gonna be the most possible fun of all get in there yeah because these are 350 coils not for 400s I don't know if that makes any difference I don't know if they have a different value or they're just made by a different manufacturer or what but apparently they do fit so now just to see if we're firing on both cylinders I don't have I think there should be enough gas in there So that pretty much tells me all the connections are good. If we're not grounded out on something that shouldn't be grounded or not grounded, I guess that's a pretty good uh, swap out there. So I'm going to put the tank back on, but it's really getting too late for a test ride. What always makes this a little bit easier is that quick disconnect in the front. Otherwise, we'd be fuel would be pouring all over the place. We'd have plugs and screws and everything in it. Worth, worth every penny. So, of course, one of the magic things you never can forget on a good old RD is to put the fuel line on. That that always makes it just a little bit better. Now, because this was an intermittent problem and it was a come again, go again thing, it wasn't a constant thing, you can't really tell if we've solved the problem or made it better or made it worse. But, of course, we do need a full, you know, 100 mile test ride. And it would be really smart for me to wait for a day that uh, I have the whole day in case I get stranded out on the open road and make sure Luciano's home and make sure the, uh, <laughs> that he's ready to come rescue me. But anyway, it did start right up. It that tells me all the connections are good and and whatnot. So I think maybe we'll just put this aside for now and wait for a day that we know we'll have and not a real real super hot day. I really don't want I don't want to be out on this on a hot day and get stuck. So until we know it's reliable again. So ho hopefully once we button this up and and get a test right on it i'm going to feel there's now there's only one decision and to back up we have replaced the plugs of course the points the condenser and not the coils and from this point on i'm guessing if this doesn't work it's probably it's probably going to be time to order that electronic ignition that luciano suggested ray already has used it with good results so i'm confident about it and so is Luciano, by the way. Now all that's really left is to fine tune the idle on this. Good. 
problem is now we still obviously don't know if we've totally solved the problem or what. We're going to have to have a real a whole day to test ride it and get Luciano to ride it and and really wring it out a little bit. So that's the best part of having a two-stroke. Anyway, I want to thank the healthcare workers. I, I thank you so much. We are safe. Our family's safe. Most of the people I know are pretty safe. And. I hope you have a passion for old motorcycles, even if you don't, if you have a passion for new motorcycles, or if you don't like motorcycles at all, we could still be friends. I hope. <laughs> but buy a motorcycle anyway. Anyway, hope you enjoyed the video. I enjoy making them and sharing them, and thanks for watching.